boundary and retrieve all the trees at once, but it times out on their server. Uh, so I, I have to chop down a, a few smaller boundaries to, uh, yeah. So it, it's like a lot of code just to do this. So I, you know, this is their API URL. Uh, How many trees did you chop down at once? <laughs> so I can show you, it looks like this. So uh, this is like the visual way of seeing it. So I chopped down into like 60, 60? Yeah. Yeah, 60 boxes. So it's like 60 API requests. And then uh, each one, I, and I coll uh, and collect all of them. Uh, and then I put everything here. This is all clean data. But the unclean uh, data is, looks like this. So it's a lot of files. So every grid, every box is one file. Yeah, and then you can see that uh, the ID and stuff like that. It's quite cool, you know, it's a lot of data. So it's like, that's how they store the data. I'm like, okay, cool, fine. And, you know, like, and then these are the file sizes. Um, yeah, 3 p.m., sorry. <laughs> and then this is how it looks like when I map them all on a map. So uh, the difference that I did here, uh, this is my first attempt. Uh, what I did is uh, I removed clusters. So don't, you don't have to click like just to see one single tree. Uh, and I'm like, well, this is really cool. You know, I can plot every single tree, every single, not, not all the trees in Singapore, it's all recorded trees in Singapore. <laughs> yeah, so it's quite, quite good, you know, it's very detailed, uh, like, yeah, this is nice. And then I built a website uh, called exploretrees.sg. <sighs> you can see. So uh, everything here, once you hover over them, instantly you can see the trees. Actually, just zoom in. Uh, oh, too much. Okay. Actually, it should work. Mm. Seems a bit slow, but yeah. Wait. Anyway, can you guys see the spots? Oh yeah. So um, my goal when I built this was to like e for you to easily uh, click at trees, I click on trees. So on the, the previous website, the trees that actually you have to click one by one. So there's like 500,000 trees. So you have to click 500,000. So, so over here, you just hover like any one of them and then uh, instantly see on the top, the bottom left side. Yeah, and then you can see the legend here, uh, which is uh, the flowering heritage, you know, like that. Since I got the data, so I can uh, plot them uh, in like, in GURFs. So GURF is like the tree GURF thing. So you can Google it to figure out how they measure the, the radius of the tree itself. So it's like, oh, okay. Um, so I make it like very easy for you to spot which tree has the biggest girth. So the red color one is like here, like kind of like here, around here. So it's very, very easy to spot. So that's one of the difference. On trees, the SG is very hard to spot which, yeah, which tree is which. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the thing that is not on at trees, the SG is the age. Uh, they don't visualize age. So, uh, so I kind of like purposely choose the color in a way that it's very easy to spot. It's like yellow and then all the way to 100 years. 100 years is pink. So you can see pink like instantly. Um, you can kind of like go in further, much, much further inside. Yeah. So this is really cool, you know, like, um, and then after that, uh, the, some of the data set got a lot more, da a lot more data. <laughs> so they got uh, species and families. But there are too many species, so like thousands of species. So I grouped them up into families. So um, it's like a few hundred families. So uh, these are the families. So if I zoom out a bit, so it's all like you can. If I hover over here this side, you will see like a whole list of uh, tree families. So if you zoom out a bit more, you like like rainbows of trees, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, this is yeah. I, it can take a long time to to browse around this website, just go to East Coast Park and then see that, oh, wow, you can see how they, they plant the trees or they, they, you can see how they plant the planting of the trees. <laughs> so it's like, oh, somehow it's like all same colors. It's really nice how they do it um, in a very organized way. Yeah. So some of the trees on by the roadside is always the same, uh, same species, same family. Yeah. So this is really nice. Uh, you can go, it's very fast. Uh, kind of fast on a machine it's a bit slow but yeah so yeah that's pretty much it for me I, yeah. so how about the data 
accuracy? Have you verified the trees? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, all the data comes from 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 them, uh, well, which is so doesn't look now. So have you put any disclaimer or? Yeah, I, I try to put a lot of disclaimers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of like put it put it over here, like oh, data from there, copyright, copyright. <laughs> On your website, mm. you have to either put a disclaimer or you have to otherwise. Well, you know, it says the data is coming from on the website. You yeah. have to put a disclaimer, kind of, what it says on the website. I asked him to say, did you put a disclaimer or not? Yeah. Otherwise, they chase it. Uh, so far, I don't get anything from them yet, so I guess I'm safe. You're safe. <laughs> yeah. I even like tweet them, like when I release the website, I even tweet NPOX. So it's like, and then they didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think you credit the source, but I don't think you get. Just be on top of this. Well, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. What's the tree? Right here. <laughs> 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 I'm going to increase my colleagues, right? Like, There's this. Like, Does it work? There's a geolocation like button there, but. Yeah. And then it's like zoom in, and then like, oh, okay, oh, okay cool, okay, cool. Sorry. Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Capo Towers? It's like the one on the corner on the left. Th this, this one. Right? Oh, what about this one here? Yeah. What, 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 Well, if you if you click it and uh, you just focus and then like you show you the satellite image as well. So it's like got more information. Yeah. So like going through uh, when you're going through your presentation, I noticed you kind of split up your data set into important trees and. Ah uh, yes. Uh, uh, because I like for this right, for. So I wanted to highlight or like separate the trees that are important. <laughs> like uh, flowering trees are more important, I think. <laughs> 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 or heritage trees are more important or in a way. So it's, uh, I, I was using this tool called, uh, which I forgot, I, I wrote a whole blog post about this, but anyway. <laughs> so I, I use a tool called something tiles, yeah. So it is is to create uh, multiple layers of all the trees, and then uh, try to like squeeze everything in when it's like you zoom like very low level, right? And you can't possibly fit everything, so you try to reduce the number of trees and combine them. Yeah, but then somehow when it combines, right, it it hides some of the trees that are important. Important, yeah. <laughs> important, <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, oh, I really want to show them, uh, like, like. In your face, yeah, <laughs> in your face, so that you can see exactly like where are the heritage trees, yeah. So, and there's also the flowering plus heritage tree, so somehow managed to find it, yeah. So unless you can't see, it, if you can't see it, then you can find it, right? Yeah. <laughs> what would be an example of the use? Of example of using this. Impressing your colleagues, right? <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> it, can, yeah. can you zoom out and then just zoom into the water catchment inside? Sorry? Zoom out, zoom out the map, then zoom in and you see the water. See the water. Catchment uh, area. Uh, just go up, go up, go up, go north. Wow. Yeah, over here there's not much trees here, but there should be a lot of trees. Actually, it's the, there's no data out there. Because too, yeah. too many trees to yeah. document. Yeah. Or is it traces they don't manage? You couldn't see that from the Uh, They just don't record it, I think. There's also like the trees uh, here, which is like totally none. Gardens by the Bay is like, I don't know why they don't have data and from Gardens by the Bay. They, by right, they should record it, right? But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, uh, so, so for your question, right? Uh, I think my goal is for you to explore trees. <laughs> That's why I register domain explore. So, uh, the point is like so that you can go down the street and check out this tree, right? And then you'll be like, oh, what is this tree? And then check out my website, and then click on geolocation, and then check out the tree ID, and then if you can find the tree ID from the tree. <laughs> some of them have actually got some of them is like quite hidden I don't know where is it <laughs> yeah we can explore old trees yes yeah.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool, uh, cool. So we will still be hanging around here yeah. for a while. So please approach all the speakers and uh, talk to them. Oh yeah, we do have one announcement, but before that, thanks, Chion. Yeah.